Hi there, it's Annie from the Youth Room at the BB Library, and I'm so glad you could join me for another virtual story time today. We'll enjoy a couple of stories together, we will sing some songs, and we'll do a craft at the end as well. Now today I'm thinking about a certain animal, and maybe you can guess what it is. This animal tends to be small and nice and furry, nice to pet. Some people have them as pets too. They have pointy ears, swishy tails, long whiskers, and they say, meow. Do you know what animal I'm thinking of? A cat. So today I want to share a couple picture books that I really love about different cats. The first one I wanted to share with you is called The Bookstore Cat. And this is a fun book about a cat who lives in a bookstore. And it's also a little bit of an alphabet book as well. So it will help us remember our ABCs and different letters. And the bookstore cat was written by Silent Busby. And the illustrations were done by Charles Santoso. And this book is read with permission from HarperCollins. And another cat story I wanted to share with you today is called Max Attacks. And this is a picture book about a mischievous cat named Max who's on the prowl and ready to attack some fish and a couple of other things in his home too. And Max Attacks was written by Kathy Appelt and the pictures were drawn by Penelope Dulligan. And Max Attacks is read with permission from Simon and Schuster. So since we're thinking about cats today, and since we're gonna read a book about the alphabet as well, I thought we could make our own cat and we could make it using the letter C. C for cat. So we're gonna make C for cat crafts today. And to make your cat with the letter C, you're just gonna need a couple of things for this. First, you are going to need some construction paper and you can use any kinds of colors that you want. I decided to use a blue for mine, and I made a purple cat with some green eyes. So you can pick any color that you want. And in addition to construction paper, you'll also want a pair of scissors. And last but not least, you are going to want some glue or tape work as well. And we'll make our C is for cat crafts uh, after we read our stories and sing a few songs together. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. Let's begin with our song, Hello Friends, and we're going to use a little bit of American Sign Language to help us sing this one. So I'll show you the different signs that we're going to need. The first sign we need is, hello. I'm going to take my hand and, and just do a little salute here. Hello. Friends, I'm going to take my two pointer fingers and I'm going to go criss-cross. Just give them a little tap on each other. Criss-cross. Friends. It's time, I'm gonna give my wrist a tap for time. To say, I point to my mouth for say, hello, and I salute again. Ready to sing? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello, hello friends. Hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Great job! Now, before we start reading, let's get a couple of wiggles out. I have a few wiggles that I need to get out. And let's start by waking up some different body parts to get those wiggles out. We'll start by waking up our hands with some claps. Ready? We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 clap. We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our shoulders with a shrug, 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 shrug. We wake up our shoulders with a shrug, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our wrist with a shake, 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 shake. We wake up our wrists with a shake, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. Let's get all those wiggles out. Ready? One big one. Phew. Well, I feel nice and awake. So let's go ahead 
and start our first book for today. So this one is The Bookstore Cat. And the words to the story were written by Silent Busby and the pictures were illustrated by Charles Santoso. Now let's see what letters we can use while helping us describe this bookstore cat. The bookstore cat is an A, adorable cat. The bookstore cat is a B, bossy, very bossy. But C, cuddly cat. The bookstore cat is a darting cat. Round and round he runs. An excited cat. A friendly cat. The bookstore cat is a gorgeous cat. Though, of course, he is also a humble cat. An intelligent cat. And, hmm, a jealous cat. He wants all the attention for himself, doesn't he? Sometimes he acts like a kittenish cat. but he is always a loyal cat. The bookstore cat is a mysterious cat when he's not a naughty cat. Uh-oh. He knows how to be an obedient cat. Maybe not right now, though, because he's not following orders. He's not being very obedient, is he? Or a very, very patient cat. It's letting all the kids pet him. The bookstore cat is a quick cat. Zoom! Right into that box. And a regal cat, very kingly and royal, and a ugh, sleepy, oh so sleepy cat. After a nap, he's a thirsty cat, getting a drink of water from that pond. Uh-oh! The bookstore cat is an underwater cat. He is a vocal cat. He does not like being wet, does he? The bookstore cat is a waiting, waiting, waiting cat. He's a Xenops chasing cat. Look at him going after that bird. The bookstore cat is a yucky cat. Ew, it's all covered in mud. By closing time, he's a zigzag cat. Zoop, 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 all around the shop. The bookstore cat is all of these from A to Z. But most important of all, he is the bookstore cat. So this cat has lots of personality, huh? <laughs> Well, before we read our next one, let's get some
some of our wiggles out together. Can you wiggle your fingers a little bit? And what about your toes? Can you make your toes wiggle? And let's see, how about our shoulders? Can you wiggle your shoulders? Now this one's a little trickier. What about your nose? Can you wiggle your nose? Let's see if we can do all of those together. Ready? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my nose. Phew! Now all the wiggles are out of me and I'm as still as still can be. So let's jump into our next book. This is Max Attacks. Let's see what kind of trouble this cat Max gets into while he tries to attack different things in his house. And Max Attacks was written by Kathy Appelt and the pictures were illustrated by Penelope Dulligan. This is Max. He attacks. In a bowl of water brimming, fishes, lots of fishes swimming. Max's paws are made for pounces. Max's legs are built for trounces. Like a dozen kitty wishes, mitts the bubbles, swish the fishes. He's on the attack. He's going for those fish. <gasps> but hold on. What's Max looking at? Hmm. Let's find out what he sees. He's full of gusto, full of steam. He charges up the window screen and clings and clings and clings some more. Then, score! Let's see what Max got. Uh-oh, Max won. Dog, none. Deep inside their indoor ocean, fishes swim in fishy motion. Our kitty boy is on the hunt. He heads toward the ocean front. Pink and red and orange too. Max is thinking, mmm, fishy stew. Max's nose is twitchy twitchy. Max's tail, switchy switchy. Hey, oh, what's this? He licks his chops. He's been deterred. Is that his favorite catnip bird? He grabs it with his catcher claws and tosses it between his paws. Up, 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 ahoy! Uh-oh. Where did that catnip birdie go? He tossed it so high it disappeared. A basket? filled with dirty socks. Oh, happy day, this basket rocks. Got all those socks to attack. He better snag them one by one. He bites them all. And when he's done, he flicks his ears. He gives a scratch. It's clearly not even a match. Socks none, max 91. Fishes, fishes, swirls and swishes. Wishes served on kitty dishes. Switchy, switchy, twitchy, twitchy. He crouches low. What do you think's gonna happen? Then whoa! Something bobs beneath the table. Can he snag it? Is he able? It's a thing, a dangling thingy. No, a string, a string by Jingy. 
that stringy swings from someone's shoe. Attack! Now Max is swinging too. Arrrr! What else, what else can one cat do? Bubble, bubble. Twitchy, twitchy. Trouble, trouble. Switchy, switchy. Our sneaky boy is on the creep. He peers into the ocean deep. Back and forth those fishes go. Swishy, swashy, to and fro. He perches on that bowl of water. Lower, lower, teeter, totter. What's, what's gonna happen to Max? Do you think he'll get a fish? Let's find out. <gasps> Uh-oh, splash! What happened? He fell in the bowl. Max's fur is sleek and clean. He dries it in a sunny beam. He meant to wash it anyway. He'll catch those fish another day. His tummy growls. <sighs> He's got the munchies. Oh. There it is. His bowl of crunchies. Attack! He's got his snack even though it wasn't fish. Our kitty boy is tuckered out. A big old yawn escapes his mouth. He curls up on his cozy rug and gives his trusty tail a hug. He's done, kaput, stopped in his tracks. A mighty nap attacks our Max. Fishes orange, pink, and red snoozy in their water bed. Max Nun, fish, six plus one. But watch out, because this is Max. He attacks. And that's Max Attacks. There's one mischievous kitty, right? <laughs> well, thank you so much for enjoying those stories with me. How about we sing a couple of songs together now? I thought, since the bookstore cat had all of our ABCs and the alphabet in it, we could start by singing the alphabet song together. And I'm going to use my hand to use some American Sign Language to sing this. So I'll sign the letters and we can all sing along together. Ready? Let's do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Great job! Now, how about we use our hands a little bit more in this next song? Let's do open, shut them. So we get to use our hands a little bit and we'll sing this song two times. Ready? I'm gonna get my hands in the air for this. And open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open.
open wide. Ah, your little mouth. But do not let them in. <laughs> One more time, ready? Let's get our hands up. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide. Ah, your little mouth. But do not let them in. <laughs> Great job! Now, we got to see quite a few fish in our story, Max Attacks, didn't we? So I thought we could switch it up from cats, and our next song, we could sing a song about fish together. I really like this song. It's called Bubble Bubble Pop. And this one is really fun because it helps me to count up to the number five, and it helps me remember my different colors as well. So let's sing Bubble Bubble Pop together and see what numbers and what color fish we can find swimming in the water. Ready? So let's start off. How many fish do we have here? One. And what color is this fish? One red fish. Ready? Let's sing now. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Let's see what's next. How many fish do we have now? One, two, and what color? Blue. Ready? Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. And how many now? One, two, three yellow fish. Ready? Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. And let's count again. How many now? One, two, three, four. And what color are these four fish? Green. Four little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little green fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Last one. Let's see how many we have now. One, two, three, four, five. Five orange fish. Ready? Five little orange fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Five little orange fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop! <laughs> Great job! Now let's sing one more song together and then we'll move on and do our craft. How's that sound? For our last song, let's sing Goodbye Friends. And this is very similar to the song that we started with. Hello, friends. But this time, instead of saying hello, we're going to say goodbye. And we'll use our American Sign Language again. So here are the different signs that we need for goodbye, friends. Our first sign we need is goodbye. And I'm just going to wave my hand like I'm saying goodbye to a friend. Goodbye. Friends, we need our two pointer fingers. And they're going to go tap, tap, criss, cross, friends. It's time, and I'm going to tap my wrist for time, to say, I point to my lips for say, goodbye, and I give a wave again. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. 
Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Well, that was great. Thank you so much for singing with me. Let's move on and we'll start our C is for cat craft now. So for this craft, we're gonna need a couple different things. First, we need some construction paper. It can be any color construction paper that you want. You can also always use white paper and use something to color it in and make it a color or a pattern of your own. In addition to our paper, we are going to need a pair of scissors. And last but not least, we are going to need some glue or you can use tape as well. Now we have a couple of shapes to cut out for our C is for cat craft. Now the first one you might have guessed is a big C for cat. So we'll cut out our letter C and then we need a couple other things for our cat. We need one, two triangles for cat ears. We also need to give this cat some eyes. One, two eyes. And I decided to make my eyes an oval shape with green circles in the middle. But you can pick any kind of shape that you want because that's the fun of arts and crafts. So we can use all different kinds of shapes and imagine things in different ways, right? Then you need a little, maybe you want to do a triangle like I did, or maybe you want to do a circle nose or an oval for a nose. We need one nose. Then we need some whiskers. I did one, two, three, four, five, six whiskers on my cat. And then you'll want to give your cat a little mouth. And that's how you make a C is for cat. Cat. <laughs> well, thank you so much for spending some time with me today and enjoying our great stories, singing some songs, and getting crafty with our cats as well. I had a great time with you, and I will see you again next week. Bye, see you later.